What's going on everyone? Uh, today we're going to be uh, working on the RX-7. What we're going to be doing is uh, we've got this AEM aftermarket fuel pump. It supports 500 horsepower and we're going to be slapping it right into the battery. So enjoy. So the fuel pump that we've got is an AEM uh, 380 um, LPH. I think that means liters per hour fuel pump. So uh, you can run this tank internally or externally. With the setup for my car, I'm going to be running it in the tank. It's just so much easier, less stuff required. Um, when you buy it, it comes with a few fittings. So I've got, it's got a, uh, I think that's a dash six and a dash ten fitting for the filter. So what we got to do first of all is just remove the old fuel pump and um, see what we need in terms of fittings and such, and yeah, go from there. So that's the fuel pump out, this is the stock one, definitely a lot smaller than the one that we're going to be putting in. So I'm just going to take note that the blue wire goes down to the positive terminal and the black for the negative. So that's important for when we uh, hook up the other one. So I've taken off the old pump um, with the filter too. So this is our new one, the AEM one, you can see it's significantly bigger. So we actually had to um, modify the way the filter goes on, so we're actually reusing the old filter. It's the same specifications as the, the one that they sent us. So the one that I got sent, um, I'll try find it. We had a bit of an issue, so there was actually, I don't know if you can see there, there's tiny little holes in the filter. Yeah, there you go, you can see it there. So I'm not sure whether that happened when it got uh, shipped over here, but nonetheless there's holes in the filter so it kind of defeats a purpose. And also when this sat around the um, our AN fitting, it didn't actually seal correctly and it, it fell off real easily. So uh, I just got a um, little thingy here. My dad actually made it up and it just slots right into the AN filter. So AN fitting, sorry. Alright guys, so about a month has passed since I last filmed about this fuel pump and we've done a fucking lot of work on it since. We've tried heaps of different prototypes for um, kind of getting it through the, the hangar, I guess. Um, so I'll show you what we have. So we have this custom attachment made up for the uh, uh, fuel pump. So it just screws into the feed like so and it's going to go through our hangar and we're going to have a banjo fitting at the top here which is going to go to our kind of feed to our engine so what we got to do is we're going to have to cut off this old original feed cut it off here as well at the bottom um, you can see here we have some disgusting weld for another prototype we tried and failed miserably so we're going to have to cut all that off Alright guys, so um, I've gone ahead and wired in these uh, 10 gauge wires to the pump, positive and negative, and these are going to be run to a uh, relay, and this is so it just gets a better voltage. So uh, we've, we've got the relay there, and um, if you guys want to do the same thing, I will actually attach the um, wiring diagram. It's quite easy to follow. Okay, so just on my fuel hanger, as you saw, I just drilled through the top, and that was to allow for these fittings and these fittings are going to seal around the wires from our pump alright guys so it's all wired up and I've thread the uh, wires through the fittings that I made up and uh, I've tightened the pump and everything so it's good to get slapped in there and uh, get wired up Alright, so the pump's pretty much in. Um, show you what I've been doing. Been doing this for a few 
maybe an hour or so now. It's very dark, it's very hard to see. I'll try and get my flashlight out. Show you guys kind of what's going on down there. Bit of a mess. Um, all I gotta do now is just wire it in. I've got um, the power of the ground and yeah, I just need to wire it up to the relay. So I'm just gonna do some soldering and whatnot and I'll um, give you another up update when it's done. All right, so I've got the pump all wired in. I'll show you what's going on. So, got my relay as I said earlier. And yeah, just a whole bunch of wires. I do need to kind of trim them a bit. They're, yeah, a bit too long, but that's kind of what we're dealing with. Um, can't really be bothered going over what's what. Um, unfortunately, the banjo fitting does kind of, it's a bit too high, so I can't get this plate back down. So I'll sort all that out eventually, but for now, I think. We'll just have to see if the, the pump actually work, if it works, if it primes. So I'll just hook up the battery and uh, the ground wire for the pump and uh, hopefully it primes. Okay, I know the battery is actually a little bit flat at the moment, so it might not prime, but it's a... Oh, there you go. You can hear it in the back there. That's fantastic. Oh, see if we have uh, fuel pressure. Yeah, look at that. Only 20 PSI, but... We can adjust that with the fuel pressure regulator, so sweet team. So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, so next, uh, sorry, this weekend, I'm gonna try to start the car. Um, very exciting, especially for me. You know, I've been building this car for almost two years now, so it's all really leading up to that moment. Hopefully I'll have a video out for you guys next week. So yeah, stay tuned for that one.